Hi friends, I'm Beth of the National Portrait Gallery. and I'm pleased to welcome you to another Introducing Storytime where we introduce you to the people and stories that have shaped our history. Today we're talking about a queen. What comes to mind when you think of a queen? What makes a good queen? Is she smart? Is she powerful? Is she a kind leader? Well, queen Lilu Kalani was all those things and more. This is a portrait of Queen Lilu Kalani when she became the leader of Hawaii in 1891. Does she look like a queen to you? She stands tall with her shoulders back, arms crossed. She's standing to the side. She looks over her shoulder. She's wearing a beautiful dark velvet coat adorned with lace and jewels and ribbons. She has a pretty serious expression on her face as she looks out past the camera. What do you think Queen Liliu Kalani might be thinking about? Leaders have a lot to think about, whether they're queen or president. They worry about how their people are doing, how they can help them, what they need. I imagine that these are the sort of things that Lilu Kalani thought about when she became leader of the Kingdom of Hawaii. The Kingdom of Hawaii is a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean. On a map, the islands look like this. Today, Hawaii is part of the United States. It's one of the 50 states, but for many years, Hawaii was its own nation with its own rules and traditions and its own government. And Liliu Kalani, starting in 1891, led that government. One thing that worried her and other Hawaiians was the issue of sovereignty. Sovereignty means the, the ability to be in charge of yourself. The Kingdom of Hawaii wanted to be in charge of making its own rules and uh, controlling its own government with Queen Lilu Kalani at the head. In fact, she was working on changes to give people in Hawaii more power, like more voting opportunities so that they could take part in the sovereignty of Hawaii and making choices for their government. At the same time, however, business and government leaders in the United States were scared of that power. They wanted power over Hawaii. And so on January 17th, 1893, they took Queen Lilu Kalani's political power away. She was taken, her throne was taken away from her. So she was no longer in power. Within a few years, Hawaii was officially part of the United States. Today, however, people in Hawaii, many of them still commemorate January 17th as a time, the last time that Liliu Kalani was in charge of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Even after her kingdom was taken away from her, Liliu Kalani continued to work for the rights of Hawaiians, including uh, writing books and giving speeches, arguing to get Hawaiian sovereignty back. She, uh, she worked to help the sick, the poor, women, children, orphans, people all across the islands. In addition to being a writer, a freedom fighter, and a leader, one of Liliu Kalani's best known contributions to Hawaii was her work as a composer. A composer is someone who writes music. Do you ever write songs? Lilu Kalani loved music, loved writing songs, and one of the most famous songs that she wrote is called Aloha Oe, which translates from Hawaiian to mean farewell to thee. Aloha Oe is a song about saying goodbye to people you love and also about the beauty of her Hawaiian landscape. Aloha Oe 
continues to be an important part of Hawaiian culture today. So maybe you've heard it, maybe you've sung it. You should take a listen, it's a beautiful song. Thank you for joining today's Introducing. I hope you can join us again for another video where we talk and learn about the people who have shaped our history. I'm Beth, thanks for joining us, bye.